dare speak for uh, any of the other owners, much less in general about 31 other owners. But uh, as far as the uh, Dallas Cowboys are concerned, you know where I stand. Our team knows where I stand on the issue. And uh, that's, uh, uh, that's where we are. But uh, uh, I, I do think this recent uh, uh, effort by uh, the league office and the Players Association to have discussions about something that would uh, meet uh, a consensus of everybody, everybody being uh, management teams as well as players, as well as their representative the union is a, a worthy effort. And uh, that's, uh, that's what you're seeing happen right now. But in general, I'll speak to one and uh, everybody knows where I stand and we stand as a team. Did you have a written policy in place? Did you have a written policy in place this off season before uh, they decided to go to this and consult again with yeah. the NFL? It's it's our our uh, position that we've always had a written policy in place. That in and of itself is an issue. Uh, the interpretation of that policy, but I think we've always had a policy in place. Uh, but more importantly than anything, uh, we certainly have a policy. Uh, relative to uh, uh, the team. And uh, that is uh, uh, very clear. To the league, I know last they asked teams to submit a policy <coughs> on discipline for players. Have you submitted that to the league? And what is the discipline uh, if a player violated the policy? That requirement to send more to the league regarding the anthem issue was put on hold by both the league as well as the Players Association. And that was the net result of that. Uh, that was put on hold. It did not impact our position, my position relative to the Cowboys, just as the vote didn't impact that, that the league made. Our position is real clear uh, as far as uh, you should stand. Can you talk about what's your position with uh, the pizza uh, and, and Papa John's in, in, in light of the comments that uh, he made, Shatner made, and other teams distancing themselves, distancing themselves to Papa John. Yes, some uh, some teams that uh, I've noticed that have addressed the Papa John's issue uh, by s distancing themselves do not have the same relationship that the Cowboys have with the Papa John's business in Texas. Uh, we own the Papa John's in Texas and feel strongly that our Cowboys are the uh, big face of Papa John's and that was war that that state that judgment is warranted by what we've done over the last 15 years with Papa John's uh, that's very uh, unfortunate uh, that that's being addressed uh, uh, unfortunate for the company and unfortunate for uh, uh, John, I'm sure if he could do it over again, he'd like do-overs. But uh, the bottom line is that uh, the Cowboys and our relationships, we own those stores. Not, it's not an endorsement. Uh, we have those, similar to the way Elway does in Denver. And so the point is that uh, uh, we just want to work real hard. We literally have thousands of people that work in those stores and several thousands that are customers, and we want to, that to have uh, uh, the kind of uh, 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 taste in your mouth that we want to have when you have Papa John's, to use a phrase. Steve, Jerry, just one more thing on the anthem. To my understanding, the new owner's policy allows players to stay in the locker room who choose to. Would you support a player who uh, felt strongly that he needed to stay in the locker room during the playing of the anthem? Is that for me or Jason? For you. For me. No, our, our policy is that uh, you stand at the anthem, toe on the line. Does the president returning to this subject regularly make it more difficult for you and the union to come to some kind of agreement on this situation? Yes, his interest in what we're doing is problematic from my chair and uh, I would say in general the owner's chair. Uh, unprecedented if you really think about it and um, so uh, but uh, like like the very game itself that's the way it is and uh, we'll deal with it uh, we we feel uh, strongly about uh, uh, how we deal with it 
and um, uh, we'll do so uh, accordingly. But uh, uh, yes, I'd like, uh, everybody would like for it to go away. Jerry, it seemed at the end of last year that both the league and the union were working well in Congress together on this issue. What was behind the decision for the league to move unilaterally in creating uh, the policy? Well, uh, the, the, the thing that it seemed might or might not have been the case, that they were working well on the issue. Uh, the facts are that uh, there were uh, uh, parts of uh, the union players that were working separate from that as well. And so the whole point cries out for uh, sitting down and, and coming together and doing what's in the best interest of NFL football, which in the end is the best interest of the players and, um, and fans. And so uh, that's, uh, that's where I'm going. What changed from where the league agreed was that the union said, we won't make you put that at your opening day uh, uh, policy. We won't make you draw a bright line there. Let's wait, don't do that, and let's keep talking about it and see how it goes. And that's what we're in right now. But uh, uh, as far as that, as far as really the vote in, uh, uh, that we had as a league in uh, um, the spring, it doesn't impact uh, our team. Uh, our, our team, uh, we all know where we stand. You heard it first from the man himself, Jerry Jones. That was at the press conference, the Cowboys opening up camp today. And um, so first and foremost, I'm going to give a disclaimer. Um, I'm actually one of the people that does stand for the anthem. I stand for the anthem as in when the anthem's playing, I stand. Um, I'm not someone who does kneel. But I do support those that do kneel. And the reason that I do is because I understand what the protest is about. I understand that it is uh, offering a voice for people that do look like me. Because I have been pulled over by police for no reason. Um, I have had friends who have been beaten up by the police. Who have had their gu have, have had guns drawn on them uh, for no reason. So I understand what this is about. I understand what the protest is about. But the Cowboys apparently had a written policy in place for the anthem. So we, we, we already know what it was. The toes on the line, hand over the heart. We kind of already knew that. But my biggest issue is that when the league put out the policy that people who don't want to, you know, get into the whole protest or, you know, people who don't want to go out there and kneel, you can stay in the locker room. The Cowboys won't be allowed to stay in the locker room. And this is what I have a problem with. I have a problem with Jerry Jones dictating um, dictating something as simple as that. Now, I get it. You're the employer. That's cool. But when we talk about freedom of speech, I mean, what are we talking about here? Um, they talk about the Papa John's issue, and I'm going to go back to, to the anthem issue a little bit later, but... They talk about, Jerry Jones talked about how the Cowboys own Papa John's and how they have a different relationship than other owners who have distanced themselves and that the Cowboys are a big face of the company. And then he, he goes on to say something like, he, uh, John would probably, uh, could probably, if, if he could have a do-over, he probably would. And my thing is, have a do-over to do what? I mean, would you rather, oh, oh okay, I get it. You know, just keep your closet stuff but in the closet. Don't bring it out. Don't say the N-word in front of people. That's your do-over. And I, I, I'm just not with it because, see, I'm not going to say that Jerry Jones is racist. I don't believe Jerry Jones is racist, but I do think he's ignorant as hell. And I think that he's ignorant only because... He loves his money more than anybody. He probably loves his money more than his son. Because in this case, because Jerry only stands for things that have money behind it. Like, let's look at the whole anthem issue. This whole anthem issue has something to do with the Department of Defense having a contract. Has nothing to do with no damn anthem. Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it real. Has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that it might be messing up some money for some people. 
That's what that has to do with. Because, see, Jerry had all the empathy in the world for, for, for Papa John and him having a do-over. But he has no empathy when it comes down to people that look like me in the streets getting gunned down. Or, and I'll even come up with the, I'll come up with another example. Like, Jerry stands up for what Jerry wants to stand up for. Back in 2016, the Cowboys tried to make a tribute to the fallen police officers. Are we, so, again, we, and I get that that was in Dallas. You know, that, that whole thing that happened was tragic with the shooters, and they got what was coming to them at the end of the day. But, you, I mean, we're going to pick and choose our battles here because that happened in Dallas. It was, for me, I felt like that was all about the money. And so, bottom line, from what I got from all that Jerry said, essentially, he would support, he won't support a player in the locker room that feels a certain type of way about an issue. We won't empathize with that. But we'll show support towards Papa John and he deserves a do-over or, 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 or if he could, he would have a do-over. Like, we're going to have, a, we're going to, we're going to feel for him, but we won't feel for the type of, for the, for the type of people that play for you, like, and how they feel. I kind of have an issue with that. Not kind of, I do have an issue with that. And that's what kind of make that's what really makes it hard to be a Cowboys fan. Not the players. I love the star. I love the game. I love our players. But when you have a, a owner that says ignorant stuff like he does, and, you know, we know his stance on certain things, then all of a sudden you stand up for what you want to stand up for. I, I, I'm not with that. And, and, if, and if you're a fan and you want to be naive, go ahead and be that. But what I will tell you is if what he did or what he's done doesn't make you uncomfortable, then you can stay, I mean, you can stay from around me. Period. Jerry Jones in this situation is wrong. And I will support the Cowboys because, again, I love the game and I love the players. But at some point, when are we as fans going to call out Jerry Jones? We call him out about the roster and stuff and the team hasn't won for, for so long. But when he says ignorant stuff, when are we going to hold him and hold his feet to the fire? But thank you guys for tuning in. You may like it, you may not. Uh, if you don't, cool. Leave your comment and let me know why you don't like it. Let's have a discussion because at the end of the day, the elephant is in the room and I'm willing to discuss it without hatred. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell um, so that each time I put out the content, you guys get it. All right, guys. Peace.